again so this video review is for a christmas chance by a l brooks if you want to check out uh, my review i've just posted that so if you're on youtube there's a link in the description below and if you're on my blog there's a link in the post um exciting this is a l brooks first uh, indie published released book. Um, I am really, really excited to have been able to read and review it. Um, I love an AL book story and it's Christmas and it's magical. So I'm really, really excited. And um, it was cozy, cute Christmas romance. It's everything you need. It was like a nice warm hug. Um, Steph has headed up to her grand's cottage in Scotland. Uh, the, she just plans to get a uh, sort of getaway after her girlfriend left, her girlfriend's left her with absolutely nothing. And she arrives there to find Kara um, taking a vacation uh, before starting her new job. Um, and she just happens to be staying at the cottage too. There's a snowstorm. Um, it's absolutely raging. They're kind of stuck there together. There's no way one of them can leave. And um, so they have to make staying there together work. And I loved the contrast between Steph and Kara. Um, but thought they handled the situation they found themselves in really well given um, all they had actually been through because both of them had been through sort of like a bit of difficulty and a heartbreak and everything else so after their initial spikiness and the wariness of one another especially on Cara's part she was like, uh, typical American <laughs> um, you know where very wary of how she had ended up with this this person um, you know in her in in where she was supposed to be saying by herself and getting some freedom and enjoying things um and yeah the sh after they sort of got off over that initial shock that neither of them were going to have the like little retreat that they had planned um they actually got on quite well and there was a definite spark between both of them that they definitely tried to ignore but there were some brilliantly comedic moments, like I say, especially with Kara. She had some proper freakouts uh, when she saw Steph outside with the chainsaw, and I think that was one of the most brilliant moments. I was, oh, I was laughing so much. Um, it was absolutely hilarious. The thoughts running through her head, and oh, it was, it was brilliant. It was so good. Um, but there were so many moments throughout the story that were making me sigh with absolute happiness. It was just so lovely, and Kara had some really melt my heart type moments in her conflict over whether she wanted to let Steph sort of stay or whether she was going to make her leave uh, when this opportunity presented itself after the storm for Steph to go. Um, they suffered, uh, as all couples do in great romances, with a lack of communication, <laughs> um, which led to a whole bunch of assumptions that definitely could have been sort of a one-way street to heartbreak. <laughs> but luckily, um, their short time confined with one another had, uh, had a greater impact on both of them and their emotions than I think either of them realised and it was so much more than they'd both anticipated it would be. Uh, more so for Kara because she was um, really the one who needed to drive that what she felt for Steph was more than temporary and that she hadn't gone back to America as Steph had assumed she had. She didn't know about her new job. <laughs> um, so such a great story that I really really enjoyed and such a great winter romance with this lovely Christmas Christmassy cozy feel um that I just oh I loved I absolutely loved it and hope you will too so I'll pop a link in the description so you can grab a copy of A Christmas Chance by A.L. Brooks which I really really hope you will if you've read A Christmas Chance would love to know what you thought of it so please do share and let us know if you haven't read it yet but you're planning to read it or uh, you know, super intrigued and thinking I want to read that or it's on your to read list then please do let us know it's always great to find out what you're interested in reading and I hope you fall in love with it as much as I did and have a wonderful time reading it bye